Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to modify the 9bot ES4 to make it faster and work better. This should work for all the other 9bot kick scooters like the E22, ES2, ES3, Max G30 LP, and the regular Max. But your mileage and performance may differ depending on which one you have. In this case, we're doing it on the ES4, and this one has the extended battery, which I, I don't know if that's stock, but it has the extended battery. So all we need is just an Android phone with Bluetooth. You can do it on a Windows computer with Bluetooth, but for this one, I'm just gonna use an Android phone. So we wanna download Xiao Flasher and ES Down G, which are gonna be in the description below. And once we get those downloaded, we're gonna open up Xiao Flasher and we're gonna click allow to all this stuff. And then we're gonna open up again. Now make sure the scooter is on and it should show up here. It'll say like NB scooter or whatever. Click on that and then click I agree to this disclaimer, okay to the change log and then make sure it says status connected right here. Next, we're gonna look at the software. It's gonna say BLE version 1. whatever. This one is 1.0.6. Normally it's 1.0.9. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select 1.0.6 down here, and then we're gonna click the flash selected zip file right here. Then you can choose to donate, and if you don't want to, just click the last one and wait a few seconds for this to flash. All this is doing is downgrading the software. If you run into an issue here, leave a comment in the section below because I don't really believe there should be an issue. So once that's flashed, we want to turn off the scooter and turn it back on just in case. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Chrome, go to this website right here, which will also be in the description below. And we're going to click presets. I normally click the ES4 because that's what we got. And then we click basics right here. Make sure to turn off version spoofing. And then power and speed, you wanna choose what you wanna do. I've tried moving it all the way to the max speed and I didn't really notice too much of a difference. So we're just gonna set this at 50,000. I heard that you don't wanna go below 49,000, but we're just gonna keep it at 50. Then we can change the max speed to 40. I've only seen it go to 34, but we're gonna change it to 40 anyway. Motor start speed, I would recommend leaving this at five because that's the speed it requires to start going. So let's leave it at five. Then this option for curves, I just left it at stock curves because personally I don't really know too much about that. And then this bottom area right here where it says no curves confuses me even more. I'm not sure if unchecking this disables curves or if it enables curves or why they would recommend doing that. But either way, I unchecked it because that made sense to me. Next is cruise control. You can choose what you want. I recommend leaving it at five or higher so then it doesn't accidentally activate at an earlier time. So advanced, you can choose what you wanna do. I disabled all of these. And then on the bottom, it'll say wheel speed multiplier. Just leave that as is. And now we're done. So we click finish, time to cook, and then click select app. Click the ES down G, which is the app that we're gonna use, and click download zip. Now it should be downloaded, should only take a second or so. Then we can go to ES down G, it'll tell you to allow for something, make sure to click that. And then click connect right here, click allow. And then what you want to do is click connect again, and then you want to connect to the scooter. Then what we're going to do is click check ver, which is check version. And once it shows up like this, you can click open bin, click allow, click open bin again, and then click download, and then select the file you just downloaded. Now click flash bin and wait about 20 seconds and it should be good. And now that we're done on the phone, you're done with everything. So I recommend powering off the scooter and powering it back on and then you should be good to go. Now you should be able to go to 30 kilometers. That's generally what you're supposed to be able to get on these. The max I've seen is 34 kilometers, but weight is also a deciding factor. But you will notice a torque difference and a speed difference compared to what it is normally. You may still experience some issues going up hills, but trust me, this will feel a lot faster. And again, 30 kilometers doesn't sound like a lot, but on the scooter, it feels like a lot. And hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions or if you're experiencing any issues, leave them in the comment section or feel free to message me on Twitter and let's see if we can figure something out. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some similar videos to these or some repair or review videos and hit that bell button so then YouTube reminds you when those videos do come out. Thanks for watching.